I grew up in an old Pentecostal church and a preacher one time came through and told a story about this woman. I don't know if it's a true story, but it always encouraged me. This woman, she was a widow. She had nothing. She had no food. And every day she would get down on her knees and she would pray, God, fill my pantry. Fill my pantry with food. And one day there was a knock at the door. When she opened up the door, right there on the doorstep was all the food she had been looking for. She said, oh my goodness, God did it. God did it. God did it. Right while she was praising God, a man jumped out from behind the bushes and he said, aha, I'm your next door neighbor and I'm an atheist. And I heard you praying yesterday for God to fill your pantry. So I went to the grocery store. I bought all the groceries. I put them right here on the doorstep and I hid in the bushes all to watch you praise a God that does not exist. She said, God did it. God did it. God did it. He said, no, 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 no. You are not listening. You are praising the wrong God. I heard you praying the prayer from the window. I don't believe in God. There is no God. I went to the grocery store. I bought the groceries with my own money, with my own credit card. Put them in my car, drove them over here, put them on the doorstep, knocked on the door, hid in the bushes, all to watch you give praise to a God that does not exist. This woman, she doesn't know much, but she said, God did it. God did it. And he made the devil pay for it. I'm trying to tell you about a God who can take bad stuff and do good stuff. I'm trying to testify about a God who will use an unclean raven to meet the needs of a righteous person. Somebody give God some praise today. God did it, God did it. God did it, God did it. God did it. 